But if they can learn from their mistakes from last time, one of the things they'll try and avoid doing is leaving Adam Long hung out to dry like they've done previously. So a lot of fighting in corner got penalty coming already. Looks like it's number 11, that's best. Be a cross check, yep. That was a cross check on Alex Padalek. So um, that might not be the wisest idea after last week. Left, Glenn Billing takes the blue line, cuts in, lays it off. Opportunity, nice play by the Phantoms. Tic-tac-toe and the Phantoms thought they'd scored. The fans are cheering and he has been waved off. Let's just talk about that. So we've got Glenn Billing, lovely play from Billing, lays it uh, off forward. James Ferrara. James Ferrara plays it in and uh, well there certainly is a man in the crease and the goal immediately washed off despite the cheers of the Phantoms. Fans no goal and the penalty killed so we've got five minutes. He skates down low. Susters held up actually does really well. McEwen picks it up there's no real clear shooting lane good positional play by Tom Norton goes into the slot and uh, just as one of the lights goes out above Adam Long we get a break in play yep there's going to be a cross checking call against Anthony Leone by the look of it no Andy Munro two minutes for cross checking against Andy Munro that was the uh, little shove in the back on Martin Susters again a lot of bad blood it appears from Dynamo's two Susters and to be fair I can see why Big crowd and uh, both teams being made to work really hard. Stepanek, pass out there. Pass once more down low. Susters, opportunity. There's the opener. Corey McEwen finishes. Gets something in his face for his pains. The Phantoms have a power play goal. The deadlock is broken. And. Uh... Oh, actually, I, I, I thought it was McEwen. Is it James White that's got the goal? I think it may well be. We'll just look at the replay here. So shot goes across, goes back to Martin Susters. Susters plays it across and into the slot. And no, it is McEwen on the back no, post I who gets it, it. Yeah, James White not celebrating. McEwen was celebrating. So we'll see. What Arriving late at the back post. Chance here for the Phantoms. And well, yeah, the like to see what that looks like on a replay because uh, James Ferrara had gone close to Adam Long and uh, the blow came in afterwards if we can get that on a replay we'll show it to you so we just look here yeah so yeah, yeah. well it looks it looks like it should be called to me yeah it does uh, James Ferrara now just getting up under his own steam one of the uh, dynamo's players just checking on James to offer an I guess offering apology. It's number 19. That's Brandon Miles. I mean, did come in. The stick didn't come down with massive force. Long screened. Chance. Chance. There it is. James White receives it in front of Adam Long on the doorstep. Long was on the right hand side of his goal. James White lifts it. So uh, if we just look here, James White in quite a lot of space on the doorstep. Open cage, lifts it into the roof of the net James White gets his goal the second power play goal and the uh, Phantoms have a little bit of breathing space at last with 4 minutes and 55 seconds of the second period still on the clock he's, uh, he's, he's just but uh, the Dynamos have given it a, a really big effort they're going to find it a long way back as they tire perhaps in the third save from Long it's bouncing in front of him goal it's actually bundled in uh, I have a feeling it's Susters. I'd like to see that on a replay, but it was getting caught under skate. Susters is certainly claiming it. Let's just have a look. So it gets wrapped the first time. There is Martin Susters. I'll be interested to know whether. Oh, no, it's lifted there. It's the panic. It's the panic. Yeah, it's the panic. We think possibly with the goal. I did wonder initially whether it had gone in off a skate from Martin Susters. Hard oh, to know. I, I, think, I think it's the panic. Yeah, indeed. Watching the replay, it's Martin Stepanek, just lifts it nicely, bobbles round the side of Adam Long and in. And I've got to be honest, if you're a netminder, that's a nightmare of a, a situation to be in because you, you simply cannot move fast enough. 
Stepanek and Long. Stepanek. Goal from big Peter Stepanek. Good night, Vienna. Yeah, we'll just watch this one again on the slow motion. So, Dynamo's looked to clear the zone. So we got the big hit there. I, I don't see a problem with that hit, to be honest, but big hit on Susters. Dynamo's now looked to clear the zone. So, puck goes out. Sorry, we just skipped back a few times. It was a missed pass from Dynamo. And we can see, Pat, it's the panic there. He just circles round the puck a couple of times. Finds the five hole and that's it. 4-0 on the short-handed goal. It's all day long. So that young man needs to... Lillis, I would suggest, needs to take two. No, no doubt. Uh, although Lillis is suggesting that he might have been tripped, I think, Dan? No, Lillis is accusing uh, Romeo of kicking him. Yeah, he's, he's been binned. So we'll find out what for in a minute. So, yeah, it was a late hit, big hit on the boards. No need for it. And he's been thrown. Now we'll find out what that's for. There's nothing on the clock. So, to me, that indicates that it's going to be a mis personal misconduct. Yeah. Now, I'm just looking down at the clock. There's nothing being called, so... No, no, Lillis, not been called for anything. I'm surprised he wasn't called for the late hit, if I'm honest. Is that what... oh, there's a whistle. We're in the final minute of the game. And with one minute of the game, we get a very popular Luke Clark taking to the ice. He will be making his debut. Uh, after seeing Jordan Marr and after seeing you and King in goal for the Phantoms, they've been the netminders over the last couple of years. Luke looks a small lad in there. He does look like a small lad, but and um, I'm going to go back a bit. When Luke was playing under 10s, he was a big fan of former Phantoms netminder Stephen Wall. And at one point, I think it was Maris's testimonial game. He actually, he was in the rink and I think his dad had made him a t-shirt saying the next Stephen Wall. So tonight really is, it's a dream for Luke at this point. He's, uh, he's in. His dad, Toby, is somewhere in the rink. He's going to be absolutely made up, I think. I'm sure he's going to be made up. But when I spoke to him before the game, he, uh, he was absolutely petrified and really hoping that, uh, that Luke didn't get on. So uh, we've got 52 seconds of the game to go. The Phantoms lead by four. 